The Summer Serenade patch is here in Palea, and we're going to be going over everything you need to know. So, at a glance, it looks like we're going to get some chill beats, fresh decor, and a new way to showcase your home. By allowing others to tour your home, you can earn tour tickets. You can then access the Home Tours store, where you can earn new unique rewards, including lo-fi jukeboxes, each with their own tune, and you can get nameplates. We're also getting the new conservatory building, as well as a new decor set called Summer Stripe, <laughs> and much more. So let's get into it. For new features and updates, we're going to start out with Home Tours and the Home Tour Store. How this works is you pick one of your housing plots and submit it to Home Tours. You can share your home designs and creations with other Paleans and visit other Paleans homes for new inspiration. How hosting your home works is each week you can select one of your home plots to submit in the current Home Tours event, which you can access through the green Home Tour board. Once you submit, Paleans will be able to visit an instanced version of your home plot where they can see what you've designed, provide reactions, and be inspired by your home. Each Home Tour event runs for one week and will reset at the end of the week. Note that once you enter one of your home plots into the housing tour event, you cannot select a different plot to enter during that event, so be sure to pick the correct plot when entering. You can also visit other people's plots through the home tour board menu, and you can leave an emoji reaction based on what you think. Each week there will be two weekly accomplishments to complete by visiting and emoji reacting to other plots in home tours. These challenges will reward a new currency called tour tickets. Tour tickets can be used at the home tour store and redeem new rewards and items. Interact with the green home tour sign to access the home tour store. The home tour store features brand new rewards, including unique nameplates, which I'm personally very excited about, jukeboxes that play lo-fi tunes on your plot, and several new wallpaper and floor options. Nameplates are just a way to add style to your name with new nameplate customizations. They're a way to add flair to how others view you in the Paleon world by adding a background behind your character's name. You can also see your active nameplate in the top left corner of the HUD or choose to activate it over your character locally with an option in the settings menu. The cool thing is, when other players visit your home plot and provide emoji reactions, you'll unlock nameplates themed after the associated emoji. There are three tiers to each nameplate theme to unlock. The more reactions you accumulate, the higher the tier you'll unlock. When a home tour event ends, the nameplate rewards will be distributed to the player and the emojis you've accumulated will be reset. Emoji reaction options will vary slightly each week with a different option being cycled in to mix things up. And lastly, you'll also be able to unlock certain nameplates through the home tour store through tour tickets. Now jukeboxes are another new reward coming to the home tour store. You can place the jukebox and interact with it. Each jukebox has a different song so you can keep mixing the vibe of your home plot. Now I know a lot of people have been excited about this. The new conservatory building is now available to be purchased at the city hall store. This is a standalone structure. It cannot be added to your existing structures. Now, we also have the Summer Stripe Decor Set. This is inspired by Summer Vacation, and there are different ways to get them. Now, the Summer Stripe Table Bench and Cooler can be found from looting the Kalima Village Chapa Nests. The Summer Stripe Recliner, Umbrella, and Ice Bucket can be found from looting the Bahari Bay Rummage Piles. The Summer Stripe Bird Towel, Waves Towel, Ocean Towel, Floral Towel, and Towel can be purchased when featured in the underground black market. And last but certainly not least, the Summer Stripe Citrus Tea, Floral Tea, Herbal Tea, Ocean Tea, and Juice Bar can be purchased from Rest's Register in the underground black market. Now, it's important to note that the Summer Stripe teas can be consumed for focus, and all of the teas are star quality and can be placed on your home plot. We now have the option of saved outfits. If you have an outfit that you like, you can now save it and equip it through a wheel in the collections menu. Once equipped, open up the emote wheel and move to the secondary wheel to access saved outfits and put on a new outfit to suit whatever occasion or adventure you find yourself in. Now, an important distinction is you can only save and delete outfits from the wardrobe. We also have some new login rewards coming up from events that we'll be seeing soon, so keep an eye out for those. Firstly, we have the Whimsical Tunes from the Morning in Bahari Bay Jukebox. Log in anytime from Wednesday, July 31st to August 13th to receive this gift. 
We have a Flutter Fox plush that will be uh, able to be added into your collection anywhere from August 13th to August 27th. Now we have some improvements and adjustments. Updates to Zeki's machine, the spring and winter Flutterflox plushies have been added to the loot pool for Zeki's wondrous machine. An additional hot pot has appeared in the underground. Zeki and Reth have procured another hot pot table in the underground so that more Paleons can play at once. It's located next to one of the prize wheels. Improved Navmish and spawning in Kalima and Bahari. We've made a number of changes around Kalima and Bahari to improve how hunting creatures and insects spawn and navigate. The key areas we improved are insect spawning from mining nodes should more reliably spawn on the ground and be catchable. Hunting creatures are less likely to teleport around and hunting creatures are less likely to end up behind cliffs. Submit bundles from storage. Players no longer need to worry about forgetting that last item back home when trying to complete a bundle at the Night Sky Temple. So you will be able to pull these items directly from your storage. That's going to make it a lot easier. When in photo mode, UI elements like flower watering bars will not appear. Tish's Another Way Friendship quest requirements have been adjusted from a ruby to an aqua marine. There's also reduced requirements for your order is served. Players will now only need to submit three petite fives. Reth is handling the rest. We also have some updates to the premium store. The new Galder Pup Pet is available for purchase. Little robot dog, absolutely adorable. There are five Galder Pup Pets available for purchase for 1,275 Paleo coins each. We have copper, silver, gold, iron, and Paleum Galder Pup. Offer up some treats and get each Galder Pet Pup to show you a special trick emote as it cannot contain its excitement. We also have the Elaru Glider, available for purchase for 1,700 Paleo coins. Let Elaru sprinkle some joy in your life. He is definitely adorable. <laughs> we also have one new outfit bundle and three outfits added to the premium store, which are available immediately. We also have some new tool skins. We have the Pretty Protector and Iridescent Glow Tool Skins. It looks like both of these are 850 Paleo coins. On August 13th, we will have three outfit bundles added to the premium store, but you can preview them in the wardrobe now. There's also a number of bug fixes, which I'm not going to go over. You guys can definitely take a look at these. They also provide uh, the top known issues as of this update. So if you're interested in that, take a look there to see if the issue you're experiencing is already known. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. We're definitely excited to continue getting updates in this game. Let me know down below what you would like to see in future updates and what you're most excited about this current update. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers right now on the second channel here. So I definitely appreciate your support. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.